Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening teacher. I'm sorry about the time. I had a little delay. Tuve un pequeño retraso. Okay, but we're going to make up for it at the end of the class. Okay. So everybody, be welcome. Let's begin. I'm going to uh, start right now, and I'm going to share the screen with you. So there it is. All right. Um, and now it's attendance time. Where is it? Okay, found it. Just a second. I hope you had a good weekend. This is the final week, remember. Okay, we finished from Friday. It's the end of the level. Okay, so uh, just give me a second as, okay, there it is. All right, I'm going to start calling your names. And uh, you hear your name, please let me know. Adan Iglesias Velasquez. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Arles Ernesto Lopez. Arles Ernesto Lopez. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Alberto Santo Reyes. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Carlos Edgardo Cruz Gonzalez. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Presente. Welcome. David, David Antonio Rosales García. Okay, welcome. Edith Consuelo, Represa, Toledo. Present, teacher. Welcome. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present teacher. Welcome. Ever Francis Alvallero. Present teacher. Welcome. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Ever Taristides Oya Ruiz. Present teacher. Welcome. Iván Alexi Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexi Rodríguez Asensio. José Amirka Reyes Cruz. José Amilka Reyes Cruz. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Present, present, teacher, presente. Welcome. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Presente. Welcome. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Present teacher. Karen, Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Okay. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Okay, thank you. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Present, good evening, teacher. Welcome. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Present, teacher. Welcome. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Present, teacher. Welcome. Oscar Susana Castellano. Oscar Susana Castellano. Teacher, está ocupado, creo yo. Tengo una reunión ahí con la jefatura. Ah, bueno, a la logra conectarse más tarde. Thank you. Uh, hablando de usted, Enrique, aquí le pongo a su asistencia también. Ok, Oscar, Susana, ok, Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. I am here, present teacher. Welcome. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Present. Welcome. Wilber Rafael Rivas. 
Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Perdón. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. <laughs> okay, calling some names again. Arles Ernesto López. Arles Ernesto López. Enrique, no, perdón, Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Oscar Susana Castellano. Oscar Susana Castellano. Okay, calling attendance at the end again. Chat entries. Carlos Portillo Arias presente. Okay, thank you. All right, everybody, let's continue. Uh, here's a class, so everybody be welcome. This is Inglés Pre Intermedio, Modulo 1, and that's me, Van Duñang at your service once again. And this is session 12 out of 16, and today is August the 14th of 2023. So everybody, welcome, welcome again. So what are we going to do? Well, uh, the last time we read a conversation and we listened to it also, and we're going to listen to it one more time just to have a review on what we studied on Friday. So uh, let's go over this. Um, it's the same conversation from last time. So everybody take a look. I'm gonna play it. Please pay attention to it. And uh, after that, uh, we're going to go study the grammar and do some exercises. Okay, so we finish uh, the unit or the section today. Conversation and invitation. So everybody listen and read. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Could you hear that? Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Just checking. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's listen to it. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match, around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay. So there you go, Page right? Page 25. Uh, Dave says, I have tickets to the concert match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Okay, so you have this. Would you like to go? Te gustaría ir. Would you like to go? Susan says, thanks. I'd love to. Me encantaría. What time does it start? Dave says, at 8. Susan says, that sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at 6? And Dave says, uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Okay? I'd like to, but I have to work late. So um, Susan says, oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Dave says, okay, let's meet at the gate. And Susan says, that sounds fine. See you there, okay? So it's the same conversation from Friday, okay? But right now we're going to <clears throat> go over the grammar. So lesson objective, by the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of would in questions and answers. Al final de esta clase, los participantes comprenderán el uso de gustaría o quisiera en preguntas y respuestas. So here, okay. You have the grammar focus. It's would, then verb plus two plus verb. So you say would, now look, Something to know about this is that would is a modal auxiliary verb. So I'm going to show you. Okay. Would is a modal auxiliary verb. And if you remember the rules of modal auxiliary verbs, okay, well, they're here again. Uh, the first one is modal auxiliary verbs uh, don't have a different form for the subjects, he, she, or it. Okay, so that's rule number one of modal auxiliary verbs. They don't have 
uh, let's say a different form for the subjects, he, she, or it. Okay, so that means that we say, I will, we say, I will, you say, uh, you will, sorry, he will, okay, it's the same word. I'm going to copy this to make it quicker. Okay, uh, you say, she will. It will say we will you the plural form okay also will and finally they will so that's the thing now look will again is a modal auxiliary verb modal auxiliary verbs don't have a different form for the subjects he she or it now if you notice look you say he will she will it will. Okay, look, it's the same for all the subjects. Would, 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 all the time. Okay, you never say, for example, he woulds. No, this will be incorrect. Okay, because a modal auxiliary verb doesn't have a special or different form for the subjects, he, she, and it. Okay, Jose Amil Carreya says he's here. So I'm taking attendance. Thank you, Jose Amilcar. Welcome. So again, that's rule number one of modal auxiliary verbs. Okay, so um, so okay, so that's the first one. I'm going to send it to you via WhatsApp, just for you to have it. Okay, uh, just bear with me for a second. Okay, that's the first one. You have it via WhatsApp. Rule number two is. Model auxiliary verbs are always followed by a verb in base form. Okay, that's the second rule. Model auxiliary verbs are always followed by a verb in base form. Okay, so what happens right here? You can say, uh, I would love, okay, to go to Disneyland, for example. Me encantaría ir a Disneyland. So I would love to go to Disneyland. This is, of course, correct, okay? Now you can say, for example, look, she, let's change the subject, she would love to go to Disneyland. This is also correct. Now look, what happens here? Modal auxiliary reverse. This is the modal auxiliary. Well, they're always followed by a verb in base form. Always, okay, always. After the modal auxiliary, you need a verb in base form. Never with uh, an S, never in past, never in ING, etc., etc. Okay, so if you say something like, imagine, I'm going to give you uh, a wrong example here. Say, uh, for example, she would loves. Okay, that will be, of course, incorrect. Okay, that's the thing. That will be incorrect. Imagine that you said, uh, example, she would loving. Okay. That would also be incorrect, okay? Also in the past, if you said, oh my God, <laughs> she would in the past loved, okay? That would also be incorrect. ¿Por qué sería incorrecto? Porque después del modal auxiliary would, siempre va un verbo en forma base Nunca con una S, nunca en ING, nunca en pasado y nunca de ninguna otra forma. Okay? That's the thing. So those are the two rules of modal auxiliary verbs. Rule number one again, modal auxiliaries don't have a special or different form for he, she, or it. It's the same all the time. Rule number two, modal auxiliary verbs are always followed by a verb in base form. Always in base form. Never in third person singular form never in ing form never in past form never okay 
So those are the two rules. I'm going to send you the second one here via WhatsApp too, so you can have it and you don't forget. Okay. It's rule number two. Now you have the two rules. Okay, um, going back, okay. And of course, uh, with modal auxiliaries, because they are auxiliary verbs, they don't need any other auxiliary verbs. Los modal auxiliaries no necesitan otro auxiliar, así que olvídense de ocupar do o das con ellos, okay? Porque ellos ya son auxiliares. So, you say, would you like to go out on Friday? You say, yes, I would. Now look, when you answer the yes, no question, you have to use the same modal auxiliary. Would you like? Yes, I would. Yes, I would love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. You can say, would you like to go to a soccer match? Te gustaría ir a un partido de fútbol. Say, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Okay. You can say, uh, I'd like to, but I need to save money. Now look, but means pero. Okay. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Nah, me gustaría, pero quiero visitar a mis padres. Now, the contracted form of would is apostrophe D. So that's a contraction. I means I would. And that's uh, pretty much what we studied last time. Now we're going to go over, you know, uh, the extra information. Now, when you say, would you like to, plus a verb. Now we use, would you like to, to invite somebody. Okay. Basically you use this to make invitations. Okay. You can say, for example, would you like to go for a walk? Te gustaría ir a caminar? O ir a dar un paseo, ¿verdad? Would you like to go for a walk? Would you like to have dinner with, with us on Sunday? Te gustaría cenar con nosotros el domingo? Would you like to have dinner with us on Sunday? And the answer is yes, I'd love to. That means I would love to have dinner with you. Me encantaría, right? What would you like to do tonight? Now, look, this is an information question. What would you like to do tonight? ¿Qué te gustaría hacer esta noche? When you go to a restaurant, okay, the server or the waiter comes at comes to you, uh, yeah, comes at you right at the at the table and they ask you, what would you like to order? Right? That's the question. ¿Qué le gustaría ordenar? And they ask you, would you like an appetizer? And when you finish the food, they ask you, would you like some dessert, like ice cream? Right? That happens when you go to a restaurant. So they're making, they're giving you an invitation. Okay? So you say, I'd like. That means I would like. It's a polite way to say I want. When you say I'd like, that means I would like. Examples. I'm thirsty. Tengo sed, right? I'm thirsty. I'd like a drink. Me gustaría una bebida. Okay. I'd like to watch the news on television tonight. So remember, when you say I would like, this is similar to I want, but it's more polite. Es parecido a decir I want, pero es, se considera mejor porque es como más educado, ¿verdad? Más, más eh, formal. Before we continue, do you have any questions? Hello, do you have any questions? No questions. Cecia. Sí, teacher, lo demás formal no entendí bien. Lo último que está Okay, decir. no problem. When you say, I'd like, this is, I want, but more formal. For example, imagine that I say, I am thirsty, tengo sed, okay? I'd like a drink. Me gustaría una bebida. It will be the same as I want a drink, but more formal. It's como decir quiero una bebida, pero más educado, más formal, ¿verdad? Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. I'd like to watch the news. Me gustaría ver las noticias. Como usted puede decir, I want to watch the news, que quiero ver las noticias. Básicamente el mismo significado, pero dicho de una forma distinta, un poquito más formal y más, más educadito. ¿verdad? Okay. All right, so uh, for the next slide. Now, take a look at this. Would you like to and do you like 
two very different questions. Chat entry here, Oscar Susana here. Thank you, Oscar, welcome. Okay, so when you say, would you like to, and do you like, they are two very different questions. So everybody pay attention to this. When they ask you, would you like, okay? And when you say, I would like, it's exactly what we're studying right here, right now. So she says, would you like some tea? She is offering tea to this man. And he says, yes, please. Okay, so when she says, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. When she says, would you like some coffee? That means, do you want some coffee? Okay, she's making an offering to you. She's offering you coffee, okay? So you have some examples. Would you like to go to the movies tonight? And the other person says, yes, I would love to. Me encantaría. You can go to a restaurant and say, well, sorry, you can, yeah, you can go to a store and say, I'd like an orange, please. Okay. And what would you like to do next weekend? ¿Qué te gustaría hacer el próximo fin de semana? What would you like to do next weekend? So that's the question with would. Now take a look. What happens when you ask the question, do you like? That's a different question. Do you like? It's not the same, would you like? And do you like? They are two different questions. Take a look. Now she's asking, do you like tea? And she says, yes, I do. And then she asks you, would you like some now? And she says, no, thank you, not now. Do you understand the difference? If a person asks you, do you like coffee? That means, do you think coffee is good? Imagine that somebody tells me right now, hey, Ivan, do you like uh, pancakes? And I say, yes, I do. Somebody tells me, would you like some pancakes? Right now, I will say, mm, no, thank you. I just had dinner. Acabo de cenar, right? So there's a difference. Que si me gustan los pancakes, si me gustan. Que si quiero ahorita, no, ahí sí ya no, ¿verdad? Probablemente no. O oh, quién sabe, yo puedo decir que sí. Right? Do you like pancakes? Yes, I do. Would you like some pancakes? Yes, please. Okay? And you eat the pancakes. That's the thing. That's the difference between the two questions. Okay. When you say, would you like, you are offering something. Okay. When you say, I would like, you are requesting something. Usted está pidiendo algo. When they tell you, do you like, this is only a question. Quieren saber si le gusta o no le gusta. Salvador. Eh, Cuando se dice, do you like, es una respuesta cerrada, sí o no. It's a yes, no question, eh, yes. El, el word you, el word, este, le da la, la digamos, la potestad de negar, de, de rechazar, pero no de una forma amable o, o, o aceptarlo. Um, sí, de hecho, sí. Uh -huh. Si alguien le dice a usted, would you like some, some chocolate? Usted puede decir, no, thank you, ¿verdad? Una forma muy educada, ¿verdad? no, thank you. <risa> Pero sí, ahora, sería diferente si le dijeran a usted, do you like chocolate? ¿Verdad? Y usted dice, yes, I do. Si le gusta el chocolate, no, I don't, si no le gusta. Son dos situaciones diferentes. Wilber. El word lo vamos a usar cuando prácticamente le estamos preguntando a alguien, pero le estamos ofreciendo algo a la vez. Cuando le está ofreciendo. Uh -huh. Y usted también va a ocupar would en forma afirmativa, no en pregunta, cuando usted lo está pidiendo. Uh -huh. Cuando va a una tienda o un restaurante, por ejemplo. Ok, Cecia. Lo mismo que dijo Wilber. Ok. All right. So that's that's the difference. So again, take a look. Just in case in case it is not completely clear. When she says, would you like some tea? She is offering the tea. And he accepts. Yes, please. Now, she's saying, do you like tea? And she says, ah, yes, I do. It's good. And she's asking, would you like some, some tea right now? And she says, no, no, thank you. 
not now. Maybe later. Okay. That's the idea. So uh, you have some examples. Do you like to go to the movies? This is in general. Okay. Do you like to go to the movies? Por ejemplo, si alguien me invita a mí al cine ahorita, le digo que no, estoy cansado, no quiero ir. Ok, pero si me preguntan si me gusta ir al cine, le digo que sí. ¿verdad? Do you like to go to the movies? In general, you say, yes, I go to the movies a lot. Or you say, yes, I do. You can say, I like oranges, in general. Me gustan las naranjas. What do you like to do on weekends? ¿Qué te gusta hacer los cines de semana? Ok. Ah, you say, on weekends, I like to watch TV, I like to... You know, cook at home, I like to, etc., etc., right? So, two different situations. I'm going to send this to you via WhatsApp so you can have it. Before we continue, do you have any questions? Franklin Delao is present. Thank you, Franklin Delao. Welcome. Stop. Thank you very much. Okay, do you have any questions about this? No questions, it's clear, like water from Aselwate River. Okay, great, like horchata, it's good. Okay, so well, if you understand, then you're going to do some exercises right now. Would you like to? So what do you say to Sue in these situations? You have to use would you like to and the words in parentheses. The first one is an example. Now, do you want to go, sorry, I misread it. You want to go to the movies tonight. You hope Sue will go too. Usted quiere ir al cine, ¿verdad? Y espera que Sue también quiera ir con usted. So you say, que le va a preguntar a usted a Sue, would you like to go to the movies tonight? You are making an invitation. So you have to use would. Would you like to go to the movies tonight? What about number two? You want to play tennis tomorrow. You hope Sue will play with you. Tiene la esperanza que Sue va a jugar con usted también. So, what do you say to Sue? ¿Cómo, le va, a cómo va a invitar usted a Sue a que juegue tenis con usted? If you know, raise your hand, please. Cecia. Um... Would you like to go? Mm -mm. Would you like to? No. Would you like to, perdón, to play tennis uh, with me? Would you like to play tennis with me? You can say tomorrow also at the end. So would you like to play tennis with me? Te gustaría jugar tennis conmigo? Okay, good. Number three. Thank you, Cecia. Uh, you have some vacation pictures. Sue hasn't seen them yet. Una pequeña explicación. Ahí tenemos un tiempo verbal que se llama present perfect. Y ahí quiere decir, Sue aún no las ha visto. O sea, invítela a ver la foto. So, what is it? If you know, please raise your hand. Anybody can participate except Cecia because she has participated. Sorry. I want to give everybody an opportunity. So, number three. Salvador, let's do this. What would you like? Would you like? Would you like to go? Mm -mm. Would you verb, like? The verb in parentheses. Would you like to see? Uh -huh. The picture. Would you like to see my vacation pictures, right? Would you like to see my vacation pictures? Gustaría ver mi foto de vacaciones. Sounds boring. Okay, but thank you, Salvador. Very good. Now, uh, number four. Anybody can participate except Cecia and Salvador. Okay, so who wants to try? You have an extra ticket for a concert next week. You hope Sue will go with you. Uh, Salvador, do you have a question? Or do you want yes, to participate? I have a question. Uh -huh, what's your question? Uh, what do you like to see or, or, or what do you like to watch? No, normally you use watch for something that is happening. 
hay algunas diferencias entre ciertos verbos. Por ejemplo, tenemos el verbo look, está el verbo see, está el verbo watch. Normalmente ocupamos el verbo watch para cuestiones que están sucediendo frente a nuestros ojos. Entonces, podría ser un partido. You watch a soccer match. Es algo que está pasando. Pero en unas fotos no está pasando nada en realidad. Solo está viendo unas imágenes. Entonces, no se vuelve apropiado. Sí es mucho mejor. See the pictures. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. María de Lourdes, number four. Would you like to go to the um, concert next week with me? Would you like to go to a concert with me next week? Yeah, totally. Thank you, Maria Lourdes. That is correct. Very good. Would you like to go to a concert with me next week? Okay, great. Number five. It's raining and Sue is going out. She doesn't have an umbrella. Ha, huh, but you have one. So you have the verb borrow. Borrow, remember, ¿quién se acuerda? What is the meaning of borrow? Ya les he dicho. Borrow means tomar prestado o llevarse prestado algo. Okay, so it's raining and Sue is going out. She doesn't have an umbrella, but you have one. What about number five? Anybody can participate except Cecia Salvador eh, or Maria de Lourdes. Sorry, Maria de Lourdes. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I want to give, you know, more people an opportunity. But thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay, so who wants to try? Vamos, sin miedo. Wilber. What do you like? Wait, wait, wait. Again, do? again. Would you? Ah, uh -huh. would you like? Okay. To borrow half umbrella. To borrow my umbrella. Yes. Would you like to borrow my umbrella? That is correct. No te gustaría llevarte mi paraguas. Would you like to borrow my umbrella? Right? Good, very good. Thank you, Wilbur. Nice. Okay, great. Very good, everybody. Thanks for your participation. Let's continue. Parece que eh, lamento haber entrado un poquitín tarde hoy. Tuve un pequeño eh, inconveniente, pero lo vamos a reponer al final. Son cinco minutos más que nos vamos a quedar. Okay, now, what is this? Okay, look, it's wood verb plus two plus verb. It's the same thing we just studied. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. You say, yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to. And would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, me gustaría, but I need to save money. Pero tengo que ahorrar dinero. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Now, what are you going to do? This is knowledge check 4.13. Okay, knowledge check 4.13. So what is this? Respond to the to three invitations, then write three invitations to the given responses. So the first three, you need to answer them. And for the other three, you need to ask them. Okay, so two different things to do right here. Um, just a second. So what do you have? Okay, in this case, uh, answers may vary. Las respuestas aquí pueden variar muchísimo. Okay, so uh, I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? Ahí depende usted si quiere ir, acepte la invitación o dígame que no. So I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? Who wants to try? Anybody can participate. Cualquiera puede participar. Ever. Yes, I would. Okay, you can say yes, I would. Okay. <laughs> Simple, straight to the point. So, yes, I would. Okay, great. Thank you very much. All right, great. Alguien que me diga que no? 
Póngame una excusa. Cecia. I like to, but I want to visit my parents. Okay, I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Number two, would you like to come over for dinner? Ah, by the way, uh, here's an expression. Come over, come to my house. Okay, that's the meaning of come over. If somebody asks you, hey, would you like to come over? That means, would you like to come to my house? Okay, that's the meaning. So question is, would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? About this one. Me gustaría, pero tengo clase de inglés. Uh -huh. So, who, who wants to answer this? Come on. Vamos, practiquemos. No nos quedemos así tan calladitos. Salvador. You have a microphone. Will I help? I'm sorry? Um, yes, I will. But I have uh, a meeting. Okay. Yes, I will. But I have a meeting. Okay. Okay, good. You can say that. Great. Thank you. Okay. What about number three? Would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? Maria Magdalena. I like to, but you, but I need to say money. Okay. I will pay. Okay, so. Okay. I'd like to, but I need to save money. Okay, cuando usted le digan eso, usted puede salir con algo así. Si usted va a pagar, me dice, aquí yo voy a pagar. You can say, you can say, don't worry, it's on me. You can say that. That means I will pay. Mm -hmm. Así que ya saben, ¿verdad? cuando se vean pronto y usted quiere invitar a uno de sus compañeros a algo, it's on me. Sí. Usted lo va a pagar, usted le va a invitar. I will pay. It's on me. That's the expression. It's on me. Okay. Or you can say, for example, uh, oh, just like that. So, well, number four. What about this one? Now, you have to uh, make an invitation. The answer is, yes, I'd love to. Thank you. Okay. Okay, it's your turn. You have to make an invitation. Baudilio. Would you like to eat pizza? Would you like to eat pizza? Okay, yes, I'd yeah. love to. Thank you. Okay, good. <laughs> I would pay. Okay, I would I would like that. Okay. Pero que no sea modo esparta. Ya saben cuál es el modo esparta. <laughs> okay. Number five. Okay, so um you have this. Well, I'd like to, but I have to study. So, what's the invitation? Maria de Lourdes. Would you like to go to a party? Would you like to go to a party? Okay, would you like to go to a party? You say, yeah, well, I'd like to, but I have to study. Okay, very good. Thank you, Maria de Lourdes. Yes. And number six, the answer is yes, thank you. I'd really like to see it. 
what's a possible invitation? Baudilio. Would you like to go see the Barbie? See what? See the movie. Ah, Barbie, the Barbie movie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that will be, would you like to see only? Simplifiquemos la, la pregunta. Would you like to see the Barbie movie? Okay. Would you like to see the Barbie movie? And the person says, yes, thank you. I'd really like to see it. Okay. That's the answer. But in reality, no, thank you. <laughs> Not me. But thank you very much. Okay. Okay, cool. That's nice. Um, all right. What's next? We have uh, the last part. Okay, everybody, thanks for participating. In this lesson, participants will read an article about a singer. Okay, scanning for important information will be developed. In esta clase, los participantes leerán un artículo sobre una cantante. Análisis de lectura será desarrollado. Okay, these translations are very little. So it's Cristina Aguilera. Oh, okay. Everybody knows Cristina Aguilera. So um, what are we going to do here? Scan the article and look at the pictures. Okay, um, let's take a look. Uh, I'm going to read the introduction and then you will help me read, you know, the timeline. So Christina Aguilera, take a look. So far, hasta ahora, she has multiple hit singles. She has fans of all ages around the world. And many people say she is the best singer of her generation. She is Christina Aguilera. Here are some highlights of Christina's life and career. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary in this section? Ever. Highlight. Some highlights. Um, that means some important moments. Los momentos clave importantes son los highlights. Thank you. You're welcome. And career. Career is your job. That's your career. Es su trabajo. She is a singer. That's her career. Mm -hmm. I'm a teacher. That's my career. Cuidado no confundir career con carrera universitaria. No tiene nada que ver uno con otro. Okay, so this is career. It's it's your job. Okay. So, um, any other questions about the vocabulary before we read the rest? No questions? Okay. So, here's the timeline. Okay, 1980. I need a volunteer. I only need volunteers to read the, the events, the highlights. So, timeline. First one, 1980. Please. Valilio. Microphone, please. Christina is, is born on December 18th. Okay, Christina is born on December 18th in New York. Okay, so that's 1980. So she's like, how old right now? 42 years old, right? Okay. Okay, so um, Cecia, 1988. 1988, Christina first appears on television in the Star Search, a television talent show. Yes, Christina first appears on television in Star Search, a television talent show. Thank you, Cecia. About 1992, Maria Lourdes. 1992, Christina is on TV in Disney's new... Disney's new Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. Yes, thank you. 1992, Christina is on TV in Disney's new Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. Okay, so very good. 
Uh, what about 1994? Can you help me read it, please? Maria Magdalena. 1994, Christina Records, all I wanna do. We mm -hmm. case, we case, can I, can Nakanishi. Nakanishi, a Japanese pop star. She tours Japan. She tours Japan. Christina records, Christina graba, okay? Christina records, All I Want to Do, that's the song, with Keiso Nakanishi, a Japanese pop star. She tours Japan. She goes on a tour in Japan. Okay? 1998. Volunteer, please. Baudilio. Christina sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. Okay, good. The animated Mulan. Okay, uh, 1999. Let's read it. Wilbert. 1999. Christina has her first big hit. Jen, Jenny, Jenny in a, a, a bottle. Bottle. Mm -hmm. 19, thank you. 1999. Christina has her first big hit. First famous song. Jenny in a bottle. Se the genie in a bottle, Cristina Aguilera. Si se acuerdan the genie in a bottle. Bueno, ya sabe. <laughs> okay. Uh, ya no están tan jóvenes. Okay, Cecia, please. 2001. No, me, bueno, ya no estoy tan joven. No, ni yo. Yo también me acuerdo. <laughs> okay. Along with other singers, Christina records Lady Marmalade for the movie Moulin Rouge. Yeah, 2001, along with other singers, junto con otras cantantes, Christina records Lady Marmalade for the movie Moulin Rouge. I remember. Okay, so uh, 2002. Baudilio. Christina performs at the closing ceremony for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City. Yeah, Christina performs, es decir, canta en vivo, Christina performs at the Olympic ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. Thank you. Okay, and 2004, the last one. Enrique. Christina win the best feminine pop vocal Grammy. Everyone found beautiful. Okay, Christina wins the best female pop vocal Grammy award for beautiful, the song beautiful. Okay, so uh, that's it. So that's the timeline. And now let's take a look at this. Uh, thank you, uh, Enrique. So overall, tomando todo en cuenta, ¿verdad? o en general, overall, Cristina Aguilera is thrilled by her success. Is really excited by her success. It's been quite a roller coaster ride. Esto ha sido como un, uh, un viaje en una montaña rusa. She laughs. I simply love my job. So do all Cristina's fans. So that's the text, okay? And now we're going to do uh, the reading exercise, which is here, okay? This is probably going to be the final activity today. Okay, so uh, exercise A, read the article, then number these, these sentences from one, that will be the first event, to eight, that will be the last event. So 
you have A, she sings at the Winter Olympic Games. B, she is born in New York. C, she wins a Grammy for Beautiful. D, she records a song for a Disney movie. E, she travels around Japan. F, she works with Britney Spears. G, she's on television for the first time. And H, she has her very first successful song. So uh, what will be number one? Raise your hand, please, if you know. What will be the first event in the in the list of events? <laughs> what happened first? That's easy. Es lo primero que hacemos todos. Okay, what is the very first thing we do in life? Okay, Maria Lourdes. She, she's born in New York. Absolutely. She is born in New York. Correct. Yeah, that's the first thing we do. Okay. She is born in New York. Okay. Um, what about number two? What will be number two? Second event. If you know the answer, please raise your hand. Not everybody at the same time, please. Okay, Ever. And then Cecia. Number two, Ever. She is on television for the first time. She's on television for the first time. That is correct. Very good. She's on television for the first time. Thank you, Ever. Uh, what will be number three? Uh, she worked with Britney Spears. She works with Britney Spears, okay, and Justin Timberlake. And I believe also this guy from the Barbie movie. What's the name? Ryan Gosling. I think he also was in that show. I think. Not sure. I believe. I'm not, I'm not sure. So she works with Britney Spears. Okay. They were friends. <laughs> so uh, what is number four? Thank you, uh, Cecia. What's number four? If you know, raise your hand, please, and tell me. OB number four, Jose Benjamin. Number four, she travels around Japan. Japan. She travels, she travels, sorry, she travels around Japan. That is correct. Okay. She, she travels around Japan. She travels around, around Japan. Okay. So she, she travels Thank around you. Japan. You're welcome. Thank you for, for answering. Okay. Uh, very good. What's number five? Chat entry here. Okay. Juan Francisco se retira. Okay. No problem. Thank you, Juan Francisco. Bodilio. She records a song for a Disney movie. Okay, she records a song for a Disney movie. Ella graba una canción para una película de Disney. That is uh, also correct. Okay, she records a song for a Disney movie. Yeah, very good. Uh, number six. Who has number six? You can tell me. Maria Lourdes. She has her first very successful song. She has her first very successful song. Okay. What's the very successful song? Do you remember the name? It was Genie in a Battle, right? In a, in a bottle, sorry. No, not a battle, a bottle. Genie in a Bottle by uh, Christina Aguilera. Okay, good. So, uh, what about number seven? And number eight, Enrique. Lo más fácil me dejaron, teacher. Number seven. She sang at the Winter Olympic Games. She sings at the Winter Olympic Games. Yeah, that's correct. She sings at the Winter Olympic Games. Good. And the last one, quite obviously, will be, okay, uh, she wins a Grammy for the song Beautiful, okay? So, yeah, that's, that's it, pretty much. Okay, it's eight, but we still, we need to 
you know, go for five more minutes because <laughs> the class has to uh, has to go for 60 minutes. So uh, what are we going to do here? Well, first, let's take a look at the platform online. Just give me a few seconds. Okay, it's loading now. Okay, great. So everybody, remember that you have to uh, complete everything in the platform by today. Section number four must be complete. Para el día de hoy, ya esta sección tiene que estar completa. De hecho, acabamos de hacer el último ejercicio, which is the reading exercise, Christina Aguilera. You can see it here. Okay, I want you to, it's the same thing. Okay, she sings at the Winter Olympic Games. Which one is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The same idea. Okay, so I want you to complete that. Cualquier otro ejercicio que usted se le haya quedado pendiente, por favor, hágalo para que le dé su porcentaje de, digamos, uh, de haber completado, digámoslo así, el nivel. No vaya a perder ese poquito. Cecia. Yo este, estaba haciendo los ejercicios, pero hay uno que no lo he logrado resolver del final. Really? Which one? Mm. Ahorita no me acuerdo. Okay, let's do something. Um, look at, I mean, search for it, look for it, and uh, tomorrow you tell me, or you can put it in the in the WhatsApp group, okay? And then tomorrow we can take a look, okay? Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, so, um, all right. So something else that we're going to do, because we still, see, I have to go for four more minutes. Okay, just have a very quick review of this, okay? Um, again. Right? Would you like? Would you like to plus the verb again? Remember that you use would you like to to invite somebody. You use it for invitations, for offerings when you want to give something to someone. So would you like to go for a walk? Está invitando a salir a caminar. So would you like to go for a walk? Would you like to have dinner with us on Sunday? It's an invitation to dinner. So yes, I'd love to. That means I would love to have dinner with you. A chat entry here. Okay, Karen Julissa Saratiraya, no problem. Uh, what would you like to do tonight? Now, look, this is a bit different because this is a, it's an information question. Ya no le está preguntando si quiere o no quiere algo. Está preguntando qué quiere. Okay, so what would you like to do tonight? Qué le gustaría hacer? What would you like to do? Again, when you say I'd like, that's a polite way to say I want. I'd like means I would like. I'm thirsty. I'd like a drink. Or I'd like to watch the news on television tonight. And remember that there's a difference between the questions, would you like to and do you like? When they ask you, would you like, like in this case, would you like some tea? He says, yes, please. She is offering tea. Okay, it's uh, she's offering the tea. So would you like some tea? He says, yes, please. So uh, when they ask you, would you like some coffee? That means, do you want some coffee right now? Okay, but when they ask you the question, do you like, that's different. That means in general, like this lady, she's asking, do you like tea? She says, yes, I do. Okay, in general, she likes tea. And she's asking, okay, would you like some right now? She's offering the tea. And she says, no, thank you. Not now. Okay, I like it, but not right now. So when they ask you, do you like coffee? That means, do you think coffee is good? And you can see the differences here when you read the examples. Would you like to go to the movies tonight? You say, yes, I'd love to. But what about this question? Do you like to go to the movies in general? You say, yes, I go to the movies a lot. I went yesterday. Hmm? Second one, I'd like an orange, please. Eh, quisiera o me gustaría una naranja. Okay, I like an orange, please. You are requesting an orange. And the second one is, I like oranges in general. So, me gustan las naranjas, right? And uh, what would you like to do next weekend? Eh, ¿Qué te gustaría hacer el próximo fin de? What would you like to do next weekend? And what do you like to do on weekends? ¿Qué te gusta hacer los fines de semana? Two different questions. Okay, so you have to be careful with that. Very, very, very careful. All right, uh, I'm just going to go over the attendance list before we finish the class. And uh, here we go. Um, Arles Ernesto Lopez, is Arles here? Not tonight? Okay. 
What about uh, Erika, Beatriz, Guillén, Pineda? Is Erika here? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Ivan Alexis Rodriguez Asensio. Ya no lo volvimos a ver. Okay. Um, Jose Valentin Rivera. Is Jose Valentin here? Jose Valentin Rivera Lopez. No. Nope. Okay, that's it. All right, everybody. Just remember, okay, uh, complete the exercises in the platform. Okay, Wilber, sorry. Uh, one question, teacher. Sure. Um, para decir ausente o, o faltante, ¿cómo sería en inglés? Uh, absent. There is present and absent. Mm -hmm. That's the word. Okay, everybody, uh, thank you for your attention and your participation. Please complete the exercises in the platform, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. You need, you need a